better than that. Positive side of the battery. and tight. Now we have, we're going to do negative, negative panel first. This is plus panel. Of course these are too much. Right, negative goes in first. And that is going to be number three. They actually have, looks like they have it in order, starting from the right hand side. Uh, you just go in order. Because you got the negative battery, the positive battery, the negative, negative solar panel and positive solar panel. So and hopefully we'll be Sure, we're charging. Oh yeah, 7.2 amps. Sun came out, so we're in good shape. We gotta go right here with that. I like it. Of course, I don't have a 
already charging my batteries on this whole system. And it's working fine. So I'm pretty excited about that. Try to zip tie these wires together. I think if I have them zip tied together, and back there, I think they're pretty much out of out of harm's way. And I'll maybe maybe attach them to this piece of wood a little bit. No, I'm going to scrap the idea of trying to go behind that panel because then I'd have to just drill holes in and back out and all that. So. I think it's going to be a lot simpler, and I don't really think I'm going to accomplish much by doing that. this to make it go back in because it's this way I'll center it like this and mark it it's gonna hit the wood just rip it off here. Put a square here. That's all under here or somewhere. So we square it back this way. And we're gonna need to go down right there. And then the height of these. Go to about there. So I'm just gonna rip this piece off. Uh, and then the bottom will basically look look like it did from the factory. So I'm gonna put you on pause here and go rip this and be back. Okay, I'm back. I have ripped this panel. So we should go back in there where it was originally. I think I'm gonna have to pull some nails out though. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna make it work. splinter. I should probably try to get that on camera. I don't know if you can see it or not. We'll see. So I got a pretty long splinter in there. So I get it with my nails. Ouch. How that joker hurts. That thing went. It looks like it's about a quarter inch long. I don't know if I want to I might have to put a warning on YouTube on this one. Ouch. Warning graphic. Ah. Thought I had it. Ouch. Don't try this at home, folks. The majority of it. I'm just gonna get a hold of it. I'm gonna have to use tweezers. Whatever you want to do, sticks. You want to edit this out? That's fine. Ouch. All right. I'm just gonna work with it for now. 
get this done. Where she goes. Just find out. Basically any old screw. I'm not gonna be using these. I seem to have a shortage of uh, shorter screws. Never know what we're gonna be doing on the job, so. skills. screws I'm not grabbing real good but um, that's basically it um, twist this around I'm poking out that is my solar system so I've got three plugs um, I'll probably just do uh, two Makitas and one DeWalt charger all the time and I'm gonna mount them here I'll go ahead and Whenever I do that, I'll go ahead and bring you back and show you that as well. All right, see you in a bit. I'm gonna go get the splitter out of my hand. All right, we're back. And we're gonna mount some charger. <clears throat> More screws in here. Basically, uh, I want to be able to reach in the door and grab the batteries. So obviously that should be pretty easy. Pull that plug. Hmm. Well, that's a little disappointing. I thought they had ways of mounting these things. Uh, the, De <laughs> the DeWalt does have a way of mounting. Uh, it's just two screws, so. I'll try that one first and then I'm going to go check my, the rest of my Makitas and see if they have this mounting system or not, otherwise I'm going to have to do something else. I don't really want to, I don't really want them just laying on the ground or walking around. So we have five and a, five and an eight got to work. tempted to grab a level but it's not gonna do me any good because the trailer's not level <clears throat> so I can measure I can actually measure from the top of that plywood 37 and 3 eighths what wow, I'm that far off 37 and 3 eighths I'm only eight minutes off See what we can do.
That's decent, but I think when I, I'm just gonna put a screw in the top, like not in it, in it, I'm just gonna put a screw in the wood on the top to keep it from sliding up. It'll just basically keep it from bouncing up off out of the slots and we should be good. That's not going anywhere. Go right in with this. That's already pretty well wrapped up. Just leave that and leave that. We have DeWalt charger ready to rock. And I've got to figure out, I'm gonna go look at the rest of my chargers and see if any of them have, I've got a whole bunch of them, so hopefully some of them have those. So I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed in Makita. They, um, well, I have, I have a bunch of Makita chargers, but none of them have a way of like mounting it on, on, on the screws on the wall, like I did with the DeWalt. Just pop in two screws, slide it in. I put another screw over the top to hold it down, and I'm good. But we don't have that with Makita. So I'm gonna use um, some of this, I think they call this plumber's tape. Uh, I think I've used it in my life for just about everything but plumbing. Uh, it's just a, it's just galvanized tape with a bunch of different holes in it, so you can. It's a, I think it's originally designed to hold pipe, you know, hold pipe up. And I think uh, on most bathroom sinks, it's it, it holds the holds the drain thing in the right place. That's why they have have all these holes to make it adjustable. So I'm just gonna put it up here and mount a piece of this to it and screw it in and see what happens. Make sure I get enough here. And right there. Cut it to length. I actually think this will work pretty good. But I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and try it on one and then and then we'll see we'll see how it works out. One thing I like about this stuff is once you put the first screw in, you get it screwed fairly tight. Uh, there. Screw that one in. Go over with this. And once you screw the next one in, it, basically you can just, the tighter you go, the better it's gonna hold. This trailer driving me crazy with the height. It's not something that I'm really going to be working on that much. I'm going to try to, I need to leave a hole because I'm going to cover up the charge indicator light. So I need to leave it right over top of that light so I can see it. See if we can make this work. I think we can. Very solid. That works. And we're charging. I think we're charging. Yeah, it's already full. Trying to get the uh, the hole of the tape over the light because there's a red light under there when it's not. The green light is showing, so that'll tell me when it's charged. Uh, I might just move the whole thing over, but I like it the where it's at. So, let's see if I can just get that hole to line up in the right spot. Let's battery die the GoPro. <clears throat> see if I can get this thing finished up. There we go. 
pop this one in, it might be a little bad. So we got the green light flashing, which means the charger's ready to go. There we go, now I can see the red light as far as the charge indicator. This thing is super solid on the wall. I'm just gonna clean this cord up a little bit, put a zip tie on it, and I'm gonna call this done for the moment. I'm probably going to um, add at least one more Makita charger. I do have another plug, and most of my tools are Makita. And I'm just kind of getting into the DeWalt scene now. I really didn't want to have two different brands of cordless tools, but I started with Makita back in the day, and they, they really were, at the time, I think they were they had about the most, the most stuff. And uh, it kind of slowed down over the years, and DeWalt has definitely, definitely outpaced them in innovating new products. clean setup if I do say so myself. I'm going to grab you off of here. Boy, it sure doesn't want to come off when, when I want it to come off. It's falling off all the time. Is it? All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I've got my panel put back on. I'm going to put a couple more screws in here so that panel's back where it belongs. So just a little bit of modification. Uh, I had to cut that out to make that work. Um, probably going to screw something in to hold those wires back a little farther. Probably use that uh, plumber's tape again. But there's one charger, Makita, and it is charging. And the wall, I don't have a battery in it right now. we got my charge controller. We're getting uh, 7, right now 6.8, 6.5, 6.3, uh, that's the amps, that's coming in from the panels. And our battery's still at 13.1 volts. And um, we'll see, I'll just monitor it and see, see how, um, see if these things kill it as the day goes on. I don't think they will because this is pretty, pretty Mac battery. battery. Uh, but I've got to watch it overnight too to see if it see if it's going to drain down overnight. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, you know, turn the uh, turn the inverter off at night. That's only I don't really like is the inverter's upside down. But as far as the words on it, but that's not going to affect the performance. So we'll see how things work out. So far, so good. I like it. <laughs>